a lovely surprise it was to see you there guiding us through, <laughs> leading us into the blood and the gore once again yeah. in this series. What, how does it feel to be like the, the buoyancy aid for kind of Witcher fans in this series? It feels, uh, I feel very lucky uh, and very, um, yeah, very, very grateful that, but I, again, at the same time, they, yeah, they do love to put a lot of blood uh, and mud on me, like fairly consistently. And I think we might have topped the ratio this this time round. There's been like nothing but uh, gore, and but it was the first time I got to really get, get it stuck into fight scenes and stuff. And um, honestly, as soon as Declan asked me to join the show, I, I jumped in it. I was like, of course. It was like you know, I was shooting The Witcher Three at the time, and I was like, well, I could, I guess I could fit it in. <laughs> I mean, I'm doing nothing else right now except this. But it was so lovely, and I'm so excited to be celebrating this show with everyone else. Like I'm as much of a fan of it as uh, as I hope everyone else will be. Bit of a different vibe being there without Henry or without some of your castmates from the main series. Yeah, I mean, it was and it wasn't. Like Henry, uh, I saw on Monday. I shot this on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then I saw Henry on Friday. So, like, the, for me, when I was shooting it, it didn't, um, it didn't hit me at all. And then now that we're, but watching this show, we get to see all of the story. This twelve hundred years ago, this sort of the all the stuff that created Geralt created this character and created the the warped strangeness that that is a witcher and we get to see the discovery of that and where it where it came from and that to me was was really informative i got to see things that i'd never really seen before in what a witcher is and so that to me has been was something i'm going to take away from the show and of course you're filming uh, series three or you were filming series three when you did this sort of bittersweet now, I guess, in a way, because one part of that adventure seems to be closing, another door starting to open. What, what's been like your thoughts over the last few weeks and months, learning the news that Henry will be moving on again, uh, and you guys will be sort of going alone? Uh, going alone. In the future. We're fine without him. No, it was honestly, it was bittersweet, absolutely. He is going to be so missed, and he's he brings such a professionalism, such a respect, um, and laughter. To the set which is so so important um, and you know he and I are always joking together he's got a wickedly dark sense of humor and that's what I will be missing on those cold long days but already talking to Liam like you know he's he's a bit cheeky chappy as well and he's got his own uh, approach and he's bringing all of the lore and all of the books and all of this physicality and the fight training and all this sort of stuff um, I think it's going to be a wild energy. It's going to feel really, really momentous uh, and have momentum, I hope. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And things about looking forward to, you're only a couple of weeks from Christmas. What are your plans for the next couple of weeks? You're seeing the family, where are you going to be? I'm going to sit in a dark room and rethink my life. <laughs>